welcome back guys in this video i'm going to be looking at this the ulanzi go quick 2. now before we continue i'm going to address the white elephant in the room yes it looks like the hilt from a lightsaber so when i opened this my first thoughts were at last one of the companies i email regularly with the suggestion have finally made something that looks like something from star wars but apparently any resemblance to a lightsaber hilt is completely intentional so when fully extended, the Go Quick 2 is super long, 1.4 meters. So it works like this. You just press the little button on the side here, and the mount just twists off. And there's a little magnet inside there. To clip it back on, you just put it back and turn it and that's really secure on there. And here comes pretty much my only gripe in this video. It doesn't come with a quarter inch mount, so you can only really use this with a GoPro. You can get a quarter inch mount, but you have to buy it extra from your Lanzi. It doesn't cost much, but it is quite annoying that it doesn't come with a quarter inch mount. So once fitted, the GoPro sits on top of it like this, really compact, and it's completely secure. So it's really versatile because it can be used as a good selfie stick for vlogging. Because of the extra length, it means you don't have to do that holding your arm out in front of your vlogging thing. You can actually keep your arm down at like waist level. The tripod feet on the bottom are a really good size. They just fold down like this, really quick and easy. And when you're holding onto them, they've got a really good feel because they're made out of silicon. The rest of it is an all aluminium design, which makes it really, really tough. And even fully extended, it holds the GoPro really steady. Georgie and I went on a night shoot in London recently, and we used the GoQuick 2, and it kept the Hero 11 really nice and steady. So, great build quality, really versatile, infinitely usable, really nice feel, premium materials, super low profile once it's all folded up lightweight but tough but i've left the best feature till last and that is the price how much do you think something with this build quality with all of these features would cost kind of like a hundred dollars eighty dollars maybe even really cheap at fifty dollars this thing actually comes in at under thirty dollars so if you want to grab a go quick too for yourself i've got links in the description where you can get one and if you found this video useful give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our other cool videos Thanks for watching, see you next time.